This is the story of a road and the men who traveled over it in search of gold. That thoroughfare ran over the high jagged spine of these mountains, the fabulous Sierra Nevada. They are the greatest single mountain range in the United States. They culminate in the nation's loftiest peak. And they are cut by gorges deeper than the Grand Canyon, a region of startling contrasts. A spectacular country, bright with color and rich in history. For here is where the days of 49 were born. This part of the world remains largely as God fashioned it. The geological story here has been going on for 500 million years. The rivers brought the gold within man's reach, and here in their ancient channels flourished for a decade the greatest, most feverish gold rush in all history. And nuggets like these fired the great migration that made the West. That epic story is now reenacted by today's mountain men and women of El Dorado County. They're going to travel the same road of the 49ers to Hangtown in the heart of the Motherlode Gold Country. They're making up a caravan to retrace the wheel tracks of a hundred years ago when the pioneers crossed the mighty barrier to find their fortunes and to press our frontier into California. The wagon master signals and we're off to Hangtown. Get up there! We've got 68 miles to cover over the most picturesque strip of U.S. Highway 50. Where Nevada touches California's state line, the journey into yesteryear officially begins. This road is paved with the deeds of history, though most of the landmarks are long since gone. The cobalt waters of Lake Tahoe reflect the bright summer sun to make this seem a golden age, too. No hurry. Let's take our time. The 49ers didn't really rush to the gold rush, and they did pretty well. Took out $50 million a year for 10 years. Today's highway follows and uses portions of the old emigrant road. Some of the hardier souls cut off to ride high trails through the scenic uplands. They'll rejoin the caravan at a later rendezvous. The long climb to Echo Summit begins. This stretch used to give the stagecoach drivers nightmares. They used to bump and rattle and lurch over this very pass. But they carried the mail through, and the bullion, and the passengers, over what they called the Terrible Sierra. Today, modern highway construction has made this one of America's most scenic arteries. You know, this road witnessed the greatest era of horse-drawn freighting and stagecoaching ever known anywhere. Back in the 60s, it was choked with two continuous lines of traffic, moving east and west with hardly a break between wheels. 5,000 teams of horses carried 100,000 tons of cargo and 20,000 adventurous passengers by this spot in a single year. The white man first saw this country in 1772, but for centuries before the Argonauts came, Indians roamed this range. Then came the Fremonts, the Kit Carsons, the Pathfinders, fur trappers and scouts. They all broke trails for the wheels to follow, for America to roll west. Our modern horsemen wind past Echo Lake into El Dorado National Forest. An old line forest ranger is their guide as they pick their way along remnants of early emigrant trails still to be found over the crests of this wonderland. Today, scenery like this is bringing a new boom to El Dorado County, even though the riches of gold mining are now but a memory. Geologists say there's still plenty of gold in those mountains. They say only one-tenth of it has been located and mined. Snow brings water to the valleys and draws sportsmen to the Sierra ski runs. Snow helped to make tourist trade the number two industry, second only to lumber. Well, our trail riders have reached the ridge of Mount Ralston and are touching 10,000 feet. Kit Carson himself could do no better. This is the top. An early map designated this as a primitive area. Today, names like Desolation Valley and Devil's Peak reflect the feeling with which the pioneers regarded this region. Since 
Some authorities mention Bill Cody and Wild Bill Hickok as famous wayfarers who traveled this route. And from their writings, we know that Mark Twain, Bret Hart, and Horace Greeley were among those who followed the sage advice, go west, young man, go west. The bells of the 10 mule jerk line team echo the journeys of the host of forgotten 49ers who died with that golden age. The stirring deeds of illustrious men and women hang in the air, as majestic in their own way as the remarkable sculpture in stone left by the glaciers. Lover's Leap rises a sheer 1,000 feet. Looking down from the peak, there's our caravan way down there. They've just passed Horsetail Falls and are approaching famous old Strawberry House where weary travelers, teamsters, and stagers paused along the original emigrant trail for a well-earned rest. We're jogging along in fine style with no worries. Until Shades of Black Bart, King of the Highwaymen. This is a stagecoach holdup at the exact spot on Bullion Bend where it actually happened 88 years ago. This boy means business. Throw down that Wells Fargo treasure. I would, wouldn't you? I wouldn't do that. Dangerous Dan won't like it. Give them what they want. We ain't got a chance. The history book says so. Well, that's one shipment that didn't get through. But it's interesting to know that most of the bandits were killed or captured. So you see the kind of goings on that gave Hangtown its name. And this is the bell that called the vigilantes to perform swift and sure frontier justice. An air of antiquity hangs over the town, now called Placerville. Many of the relics of those heroic days still stand some over a century old. Nearby at Sutter's Mill, James Marshall discovered gold in 1848, changing the whole course of the country's history. His hand points to the exact spot. Our caravan is going to get a real Western welcome. They finally made it, a triumphal entry into old Hangtown. You can't blame people for coming to Hangtown. When you remember that some of the boys back yonder took $5 million in gold out of one hole just 12 feet long. You can't call that dry digging. Rip Roaring Hangtown is really quite civilized now. But there's still life left in the old town. Or at any rate, this descendant of the rough and tumble old timers will be glad to prove it if you want to change places with him. Who said the chaos and violence of the old days are gone forever? Just like old times, isn't it? In mining days, the old boys did some high grading, but today the young boys do some high riding, till they come down, that is. That right, Dad? Something tells us this boy may stay on for the required 10 seconds. Yep, we knew it all the time. The people of Placerville always did like a winner. The wagon train caravan has reached its rainbow's end, Hangtown. It too will go down in history beside its counterpart of a century ago. The smartest entries and the best trail riders are awarded trophies in gold, the very metal that spurred the westward migration. The trek of the modern gold seekers ends in glory, just like the one a hundred years ago. This pictorial record of the birth of the West has been brought to you by the Standard Oil Company of California. <laughs>